Senor, senor, you said wake you up. You have a lecture today. You told me to make sure you up. Oh, Wicked Witch of the West. So, which one of the two witches was your personal favorite? Well, when you look at this one, it's the scary part, you know. As she flew through, flew through the sky and stuff like that, that was the fun part, just watching all the uh, scary stuff out of there. Yeah, because she, she was technically more entertaining, I suppose, than she was, because all she did was float around in that little bubble, and then she popped out of the bubble, and it was just like, you got to do this, Dorothy! But the Wicked Witch of the West, uh, she was all like, <laughs> and cried. I'll get you, my buddy. She was all like that. But uh, I think he did a lot of dancing stuff, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, you yeah. need courage. <laughs> well, you know, courage. Buddy Epson was gonna be the Tin Man first. Yeah. <laughs> and he, that makeup he put on his oh, face, he got and allergic. Yeah. He was allergic so to he, it or something. Yeah, he had to go to the hospital and then he was out for several weeks or months. But at that time, they needed somebody else to do it, so they called him. Got this guy. If we go no, out and and stuff, I dressed up as Batman. And my friend next door, he'd be Robin. So that's why I bought these things. Batman, yeah. Robin. This is the Joker. So it's got some, oh, we have Batman, Robin, the Joker, the Catwoman, and a Batgirl. Yeah, I guess this is one section. This yeah. is another section here, but yeah, that's that Superheroes there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the villains. There's the villains. It's yeah, sort of like, yeah, yeah, with the villains. Yeah. Sort of yeah, like the 1966. Uh, these, I think these so are this so... Is, this is Slick Beauty. That's yes. Maleficent. And, Sli and Aurora, I think is her name. From, from the uh, Slick Beauty. Part of the uh, movie. Um, that's just the Snow White. These two from Snow White. Creature from the Black that's Lagoon. I've heard that was the last of the Universal Monsters that came out. Like the uh -huh. Universal Monsters started in the 20s and 30s and all that, but kind of ended in the 40s, 50s and stuff. But ended with the the sea creature. And the, did you like the sea creature? Yes, the Black Lagoon man. Yes. And, uh, and, and but these really were. He was like, well, Aquaman sucks. sucks. That was a good point, Jonathan. Best point this whole time because Aquaman does suck. Man, Aquaman. You know what's the uh, uh, not, what's the uh, the dudes? I say uh, hold on to your head, wait, and make you stop think. Huh? You're thinking, look in oh, there, Aquaman. Da, 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 da. Oh, that was a little bit before my time or, or after my time. <laughs> I like the fish so much. I like the sushi because it's never touch a frying pan. You know they say something about Aquaman. They say something about Aquaman. I'm not Aquaman, and John is, is, guy talks real and John is not the wolf man. I think, and, you know, one of the favorite things I used to do is when I was a kid is the uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah, man. man I Planet of the Apes. This is the thing about Planet of the Apes. It was the first movie. It was written by Rob Sterling, and this crazy twist ending, and you had the whole, uh, who was the main guy yeah. that was, that was is, was Taylor, you mean? Or not, not Taylor. The guy, the main man, Christopher Cobb. What's his real name? Charlton Heston. Charles Charleston. Charles 
Charleston Heston, right? Not Heston. Charleston Heston. Right, yeah, but Charleston Heston. That was a great idea. Great idea. Oh, Charleston Heston. Alright, alright. Well, I'm going to get you a great so these seem more modern. This is like the modern uh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, that's the Alice. Uh, Tim Burton. Oh. <clears throat> Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. And this was kind of real cool. I see like this figure right here, uh, very hard to find. They uh, <laughs> that was like five hundred dollars, but it, it I think it uh, but you can't. I only saw it on the eBay twice. Yeah, you know, because these some of these things are just where they they only come very people just don't sell them and just buy them and don't sell them. Yeah, and I've heard, of course, I know about the Tim Burton movies and I know about the uh, Alice in Wonderland and stuff. I've heard that the new Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland sucked. What do you got to say about that? Well, I liked it. My son didn't like it. I liked the movie myself. Cause I, 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 why would I have these if I didn't like the movie? I bought the movie, but Jonathan, he uh, said, hey, he didn't want to even watch it when I, had, when I bought it as a DVD. Hey. Oh, speaking of Ghostbusters, you happen to have all the Ghostbusters. Now, here we got Bill Murray, Hell Ramis, what was the black guy's name? And then we got Dan Aykroyd. And then we got the whole thing, it says 84, because that was the year that the movie came out. But, uh, it's Ernie Hudson, by the way, the black guy's name. I know Aaron hurts it. But anyway, uh... No, not Andy. <laughs> but, uh... But see, these guys... is always a good subject. Remember Tommy, uh, fucking Chucky, Phil and Lil, and Angelica, what was the black bitch's name? <laughs> we always don't, I always forget about the black person, what the names are. <laughs> we always forget her. And then there was a little deal. Now can you help us on Cause actually the that, black that, girl? Jonathan. No one knows the black person's name. That's the kid. Is that just common now? Is that just a common thing? Nobody fucking knows who the black... Alright, we'll move on. Alright, so we got the grandparents. I remember him. He was always like, I walked 15 miles to school barefooted in the snow. And then... I, I can't do any impressions of Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. Alright, so... Did you know Spider-Man back in the old days, like when he was just in Marvel Comics, or did you catch on to him later on when it was like a TV show thing? Or like the movie thing? Or did you know him in the I, comic I didn't really days? Like, like the movie stuff, the ones they did. I just like as the, the uh, comic and cartoon. Uh, I think that's like 1966, so I was about four years old, five years old, something like that. Uh, my brother Greg, Went through the, and found them, and he said, uh, Jimmy, we're getting uh, these horses that got clothes too. <laughs> he was freaking out. He never even saw horses with clothes. So huh. That's that's when I was a kid back in the 60s. Yeah, I thought it was like a scene from Holy Grail or no. something. It's kind of like what it looks like. Huh. No. Hmm. But you hmm. can. You can pretend it was. Yeah. You, you really can. I can. I can. Let's go in here and let's look at this. Let's go in here and let's look at these guys. All right, this is obviously from that movie, uh, The Godfather. Yeah, that's God sister, God brother. Al Pacino and uh, if I had to guess, I'd say Robert De Niro. It could be. I'm not for sure either. Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, without a question. All right, let's move on. All right, this guy here, that's dude. He's like in a little yellow boat. You know, it's the um, A-Torine vehicle, whatever it's called, a ATV. So what's he picking up? <laughs> the Is he picking up bitches in the back? That's, that's a mummy man. Uh, the helicopter. Look at the helicopter man. He's on the walkie-talkie. He's like, well, actually, that's a woman in there driving. <laughs> Down here I see the uh, 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 Nightmare Before Christmas, I see Jack and what's the other girl's name? I can't 
Jack um, and Sally. Sal, Sal. Sally. Yeah, Jack and Sally, and then the fat dude. I don't know his name. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know enough about it. I like it, but I don't know enough about it. All I know is it's a skeleton and, and, and Sue, I guess. I'll tell you what I know. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Bye -bye, bye -bye, bye -bye, bye -bye. Alright, alright, alright. So what's over here? It looks like a bunch of Harry Potter shit, but I can tell you this. Skip! <laughs> alright, uh... Alright. Looks like 60s... If I had to guess, 60s Christmas show animation, stop animation style stuff. Yeah. I saw the... I, look, look, look at this. I saw this, snow, this Santa Claus every year of my first, second, and this third grade. Look at this guy up here. He's actually a star of ours. He's appeared in several he's in, shows. He's been in y'all's... He's, he's in a car uh, accident, I think. A car I, accident? Or, 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 in a yeah. car with y'all. He wanted to He wanted to blow up the quadrillions. Like, see, there was a situation where... Uh, uh, see, uh, Jonathan and me were making this skit one time, and he was like... Let's go! Making that space station for the world is destroyed! Belonged to the kids that they had when they were, you know, the, remember the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Land Before Time? Land Before Time! <laughs> hey, Land Before Time came out in 1989. It was all about dinosaurs and it was cool because in the 1980s, dinosaurs started getting really cool and Steven Spielberg decided to direct a whole little fucking cartoon about it and he made this kid cartoon and it kicked up. To be one of the best kid cartoons exactly. of the late 80s and, 80s and the 90s. So, let's move on to your. Let's go to the Batmobile in here. Oh, the Bat Cave. Yeah, the Bat Cave. Yeah, oh, the Bat Cave. Burnt lights. This way. So, what would you say something as sweet ass as this would cost? Well, actually, this has cost 600 something dollars. Yeah, plus you had to pay hundred dollars just to have it shipped to you. Hmm. It weighs like thirty something pounds. So you're paying a hundred dollars that guy just to walk it to your door, or did he drive the mailbox? Or what, what did he drive? What was he driving? Was he driving this Batmobile? Well, actually, it comes from they they, they came from uh, Japan, I think. Oh, Across way the from ocean. Japan, they drove this it's car. The, it's the Hot Toys uh, thing that's made from Japan. Damn, I didn't even know this car could float across the ocean. Well, bat wings. Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even put this part into context. Like I always thought the Batmobile was just on wings, but I didn't even know it could fly or go across the water. Yes, it's very submersible. Hey, that sounds like a good movie. Yeah, that sounds like good American hey, Pie. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> so, do you think Joker should have drove that car instead of Batman, or do you think Batman should have drove that car? Well, then if it's called the Batmobile, good point. You know, but I mean, Joker. He, I think Joker had his own Jokerville. But Joker could have just walked out there one day and decided to drive it. Is it my right? And Catwoman. Well, Catwoman did drive one of the uh, Bat Pod in the Dark Knight thing. Hmm. All right, the bathroom, Jimmy. So when did you feel it was comfortable to hang this towel on the wall? I, I hung that towel on the wall because my son sometimes comes over here and wants to take a shower. 
So I'm gonna use that towel. All right, all right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Now I see you got it. Oh, oh, I this think. is a good one. No way we can miss this classic. All right, so for those of you big fans, those of you big fans may remember that this appeared in one of our very first early sketches, and it is still here today. See, look, there's Gene Simmons himself, as you may remember from Ultra Vision. And Jimmy, take over the rest. Who is that? That is Paul Stanley, rhythm guitar, uh, and that is Ace Freely, lead guitar. And Peter Chris. What year did, uh, what year ish did Kiss start? I saw him in 75, I think. Alright, so let's go check out your lawnmower. So, Jimmy, on the day that you decide you just want to mow the grass, would you sit on a lawnmower like this, or would you sit like on something that was more professional? Can I put these on? You put the headphones on. I got you because because you can't hear what you're doing. You don't want to be cutting the grass because who wants to be cutting the grass but you can't hear? Well, I got things on right now. I can't hear what you're saying. What are you talking about? I said I got these on right now. I can't hear what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, oh, well, I said I put these on because it's. Take my ear, hearing. Hold on, let me, I don't know what you're talking about. See, do you hear what I'm saying to you? What are you talking about? Yeah, can you hear what I say? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Read my lips. Your lips be slipping. So what does it carry in his meat freezer around? Around this place, what does it carry inside of a meat freezer? I think y'all got in the freezer one time and y'all had a skip with this freezer. Yeah, I remember one day I climbed in the meat freezer and then y'all just closed the door and I just stayed there for a few days and nobody ever helped me out. Did you freeze? Hell yeah, I freeze! I got freezer! What do you typically find in a car that just sits in your driveway? What do we find in it? Yeah, like what kind of things would you find in it? Money. Money? That's why I know uh, he comes over and I try to search his car for money each time. Hey, you know every time he comes over my house, I usually search his shit for money. Jimmy, let's look for money. Found it. Look at the golf compartment. Oh, whoa! Look! Look! Oh, gold coins! He's probably got at least 75 <laughs> Finally, god damn. Fucking where my beard at? God damn stupid ass dolls don't give a shit about fucking dolls. I can eat my goddamn burger. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god, all oh, this cheese. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Shit. Oh shit! Hey, so you lost.